We were gonna tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady. But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists. Murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, 
A picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Have you seen that Janice's oddball nurse is at it again? Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early, just to chat with the birds. He spends more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past him and... So Janus has an appointment with a male nurse every Saturday. He is down feeding the birds by the creek at the moment. Sounds like a good way inside Janice's house. I have to tell you, he gets into some pretty personal stuff with those animals. He shared his opinion on Janice. Well, let's just say it's not exactly What? Okay, I'll take it from here. Just sit back, relax. Oh, thank you. Say what? You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. Not like that. I've never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete. It's like he knows that I know that he's hiding something, and he's enjoying it. I you can make out what it is.
Sir, if you want to come through, I'm gonna have to pat you down. Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Good. You're clean and good to go. The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right, just ring the doorbell. Someone will be with you in a moment. Lafayette. He's not well. Hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. You have a very... Are you trying to be intimidating or something? That won't work on me. Hey, how you doing? Fashion, I guess. Back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please. 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. Have a nice day.
another male nurse. Odd. Nicely done, 47. It's time for Janus to pay for his crimes. You know, you might. Finally, an end to Janus. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. We are close now, 47. Location checked. Suspect's not here. Command! Command! You there? Someone's causing panic. Again! Come on! We can do this! Remember your training! Whatever you say, sir! Let's do this! Command, I have nothing to report for my current... The first annual gathering of the Ark Society. Hmm. That rings a bell. If Janus was its founder, perhaps he's still attending these gatherings, 47. This could be valuable information indeed.
with here. I wish my husband would let me have that much art inside the house. But he gets, well, <laughs> he doesn't appreciate it the same way I do. Well, Richard and I have similar interests, so it's really not that hard to get him to go along with my ideas. Although, I have to say, it's been challenging to find a good place for my old microfilm viewer. Right now, it's just collecting dust in the attic. Microfilm? That's an interesting thing to collect. Well, it's Come sort on, of a hobby that out, never really took off. Besides, I don't have any microfilm to play on the viewer anyway. I'm not sure I can find any either. Hmm. Well, Janus Next Door collects all kinds of ancient memorabilia. He might have a roll or tape or whatever it is that sort of thing uses. I'm sure he'd be delighted to lend you something. That's very good. Back in the day, Janus was known for his obsessive need to archive and keep memorabilia. If he has any microfilm in his house, it might contain something interesting. out and wants to talk and the problem is he just won't shut up always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me as if I give a rat's ass about their problems let the judge sort it out what do I want a lawsuit want between Janus and a local resident it might be just what we're looking for Batty lives in number 432 same guy who just did Cassidy's right yeah so I let him use the green shipping theater to store Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. Batty claims it interrupts the nesting birds and a species of frog that has been declared endangered. Must be a very important trip given his poor health. One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on.
Clearly, Janus is a meticulous man. This microfilm contains a lot of heavily redacted minutes from what appears to be a yearly event of some sort. Plenty of initials and project code names that don't ring any bells. Janus is mentioned by name throughout, however. This is a very important find, 47. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. I'm really sorry, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to let you pass. Order, you know. This is Nolan Cassidy of Whittleton Creek. I want to speak to the man in charge. That's you? Very well. Listen, you people completed your work on my house last week, but there's still all your machinery cluttering up my garden. I talked to your man here, but he claims he needs to be done with my neighbor's house before he can remove the hookup to my house. Surely that's some sort of joke. Really? I don't much care about your excuse. I've got a security map. Nicely done, 47. This should keep things nice and quiet inside the house. I'm 
that is Nolan Cassidy taken care of. Both targets are confirmed killed. All that remains now is to find the information we came for, and then get out of here. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the Constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted, no names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You all right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Did you not see this coming? My god, we came this close. The old man could have buried us all. Our families. Do you think you feel more betrayed than I do? Get some perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take... No. There is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever. Madam.
Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb. Only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think... No one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing. Having a conscience.